Hey guys, Belen with Art and Whimsy here. I have something to share with you today. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I'm a big fan of Daddy Van's furniture polish in um, art journaling and in mixed media. The reason for that is because it renders tissue paper uh, transparent, which leaves just, you know, whatever colored background you have to come through and it helps your stamped image to really pop. So here I have stamped just um, a heart-shaped stamp using Stazon um, ink onto tissue paper. And what I'm gonna do is take this Daddy Vans furniture polish. I just load up my brush. And you can see right now, if I was to place this on top of this tag, I mean, you don't see anything except for the white of the tissue paper. But, through the magic of Daddy, Daddy Vans, if I just brush this on, like so, you can see that it begins to render that tissue paper transparent. So once I'm done and I, um, you know, cut it out and put it onto my tag, you're going to see how that stamped image really pops. So I just load it up and make sure it's on there really good. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but here it's opaque. Here you can see my fingers um, through the transparent part of the tissue. So, okay. So, while I cut this out, I'll just share with you that the wonderful people at Daddy Vans have sent me some Daddy Vans tins of furniture polish to share with you. So, I am going to um, be giving those away. And what you can do to enter is leave a comment below and I will be giving away um, a tin here on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram. I will also be giving a tin there and you can follow me on my blog at artandwhimsy.net and I will be doing a giveaway there as well. So I'm giving away three tins of Daddy Vans furniture polish. So as you can see, it was really easy to do. I just brush it onto my tissue paper and here is my stamped image. It's got Daddy Vans polish. You can trim it as close as you want. Maybe I'll trim it a little more. What I usually like to do is tear it also, just so that I get that nice feathered edge, but today I cut it with scissors and that totally works. Okay, so if I put it on here, you can see that this, the, um, the colored background, that comes right through and it leaves this stamped image to really pop off the page. So I'm gonna use a little collage podge which is some uh, medium to put this on. And it's important to get both sides of, um, if you're gonna you know, use gel medium or some sort of um, medium like that to adhere something, I like to cover both sides just to make sure that I get uh, good adhesion. So get that on there, let's pick that up. We will put this right down like so. And then I brush out from the middle, hopefully getting rid of any, any wrinkles. So I got it a little crooked on there, but that's fine. Okay, so as that begins to dry, well, even now you can see, you can see my um, stenciled image underneath and you can see the different colors. But as it begins to dry, it'll become even more translucent. So I'm, all I'm gonna do now is add a little bit of ribbon to my tag and stick it right through these holes. And tags are really fun to do. They're fast, they're easy. They're great to um, include in Happy Mail and send out to friends. 
and they're nice to just hang in your studio for a little extra inspiration. So here is this art tag all done. If you are um, eyeing my stencils here in the background, they are some wonderful stencils from Stencil Girl that uh, these were designed by Kat Kerr. Uh, you can find them on their site and they're a lot of fun. So here is the magic of Daddy Vans. You can see it and um, I hope you enter the giveaway and good luck to everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching.